While honeybee keepers who recognize potential diseases in their honeybee colonies can prevent the invasion of pests like varroa mites. Recognizing the signs of honeybee disease was just one of many reasons why more than 200 enthusiasts descended on the USDA's honeybee lab in Baton Rouge for its 20th annual field day. People from across the state listened and took notes while honeybee scientist Michael Simone Finstrom discussed how beekeepers can prevent disease through better breeding techniques. Held in conjunction with the Louisiana Beekeepers Association, this field day is an opportunity to have the beekeeping public learn about the science of honeybees directly from the USDA staff. Research leader Dr. Bob Danka explains that the information exchange between scientists and other beekeepers is key to the sustainability of honeybees. What the folks who visit get out of this is a chance to learn about our research, which is going toward basically breeding better bees. Bees are under attack from a variety of things. The mission of this laboratory is genetics and breeding to try to improve the resiliency of bees, how they respond to pests, pathogens, parasites. So it's a chance for the beekeepers to learn where we stand in our breeding programs and just how exactly the bees we're producing can help them. Honeybee scientists provided learning opportunities like how to make splits of existing honeybee colonies as well as advanced techniques. This is really advanced such as queen rearing and bee breeding basics. For more information about honeybees, log on to our website at twilatv.org. Still to come on Twyla, we're going to St. Charles Parish to see what's cooking. Dinner here means help for the United Way. Plus, find out what's trending on Twyla, coming up next.